Hello and welcome back to Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign. Plenty of days remaining. We've still only used 50 days of 1200 days. We're in the third solar system and we're going strong. We want to beat our first three school mission right for the picking. It is called we're going to fight against the pirates and uh, actually we want to do insurance policy my bad same deal but more loot uh, more salvage we're going to go for maximum salvage that is 28 which is phenomenal in normally a poor game uh, we've uh, said poor salvage that is the absolute maximum that you can get it is a beautiful beautiful uh, reward for this mission so let's make it work and the question that I'm asking myself is, are we going to use the Raven in order to, to get there? Which has a firepower of 100. Yep. Firestarter is at what? Similarly low. And our Vulcan is even lower. So Firestarter is very battered. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to take him on a mission. We know that Lily could tank really well with it, but we could do the same with the Vulcan, just with more armor. So might as well take the Vulcan and use the Raven as well. Bradford is going to lead the fray. The Blackjack here with its sizable firepower of almost 200. The Vindicator with the firepower of uh, almost 300. Both of them are going to be our main bodies uh i need lily this time in the vindicator we need high gunnery on the guys that deal the most damage tygen might with his low gunnery skill might end up going for who has more hit points she so she has more guts tygen will play the tank if needed and we're having our Raven with us. So, Bradford, back to you. And yes, careful. We're pretty low on the tonnage requirement. Potentially going to get our asses kicked. But if we play the, our cards right, there is a lot of reward in this mission. A lot of reward. Good. Time to deploy. Bradford, we're counting on you. Okay, destroy the enemy patrol. Oh boy, what could possibly go wrong, right? Commander. Raven moves up. On the move. And everyone else follows. Uh -huh. We're not even having special skills yet. Waiting for the right move. Two means that's a heavy I'll wait here make. Oh, well. Well, minus 40% damage for him. Waiting for orders. <laughs> okay. Good to go. Good. I'm rolling. Oh, we got an archer waiting for us. Oh, that is going to hurt. Good. We can safely assume that we're not going to take our MG. The archer has loaded a lot of firepower. It tricked us into believing that this guy would be alone. And despite three evasion blips, we I'm almost lost our arm. leg. Holy shit. Ready to get it on. I hear ya. Moving to position. Good. 
the archer needs to get needs to lose all of their evasion blips seems to be an experienced pilot because they could build up two evasion blips right from the get-go So that sounds like a good start. The Vindicator here can deal a bit of damage. Got it. Archer still has so much armor. Acknowledged. Giving them everything I've got. We're continuing to unload. Archer gets a bit, yep. tiny bit destabilized. And that's okay. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Fantastic. Good to go. Absolutely fantastic. Waiting on you, Commander. Awaiting orders. Just out of curiosity, what are we dealing with on the Catacrypt? Um, that's four medium lasers, PPC, that's going to hurt the AC-10. Oh boy, that is all of that is going to hurt. Well, that's what you get from heavy mechs. But I would suggest we're all like moving further to the right. And just trying to avoid dealing with these guys. Bradford, come on. 80%. Good. Structure exposed. Reporting. Enemy contact. Luckily, we upgraded our armor on the Raven. Raven Standing needs by. to move next. And I would like it to move to here. That way, potentially, no one else will be able to spot it out. And let's continue to hit the archer. Arm is all, almost down. Hull can take some more damage. Armor blow through. Internal damage. Confirmed. Could move back to here, making the Vulcan a further target. This here could be a thing. All right, Tigan tanks. You will not deal a lot of damage anyways. Might as well just rely on the AC2 for now. 25 extra damage wouldn't really have mattered all too much. Redford takes some damage, Lots of armor. but so far that extra lance here is not doing too much. Good. Moving up. Lily with a Vindicator. Let's get this archer down. Fantastic. More, huh? Half of its uh, weapons are gone. Luckily, the AC-10 missed. I'm taking internal damage. Okay. Well, not too bad. All things considered, actually, not too bad. Awaiting orders.
Let's reserve. Let them take one turn. Okay, they are getting more enemies ready. Oh, that is unfortunate. But we're being slightly overheated here. Continuing to go for the archer. Redford is okay. Still enough uh, armor. All right, Vindicator moves up. Come on, let's continue to get this guy down. Time to die. Fantastic. One of the biggest threats eliminated. Now we're taking damage. Not up the mill. Not Standing by. Ah, the left arm. I should not have left. Turned it around uh, the way that I did. It's okay. Not the end of the world. We gotta start hitting the guy, so... Every little bit of damage counts. Got a lock on me. And unfortunately, we're being sensor locked. Good, let's use our flamer. That's not a bad idea. Increases uh, the heat. And he needs to cool down. Okay, cool, cool. Very good. I would uh, like to stay in reserve. They got a lock on me. Unfortunately, they got a sensor lock, so that sort of counters the ECM. Not by a lot. Yeah, but you can see we're taking Our damage. Are taking a beating. Orders. Good, we're using the rear. And we're bracing. Okay, so far so good. Let them come. Good, I think Order. we're fine. Should we cool down? No, I think we should continue. We should continue dishing out as much damage as we can for way. now. Cataphrag. Let's hit it straight up. Oh boy. The desert biome just makes it so difficult for us to retain our heat. Moving out. All right. Let's go. Hey, Good. We're slightly better at here. Might 
Might as well okay. use our AC2 for now. Fantastic. That destroyed the AC-10. Good. So far they have not sensor locked yes, us. Hmm. Difficult question. Should we delay? He could. Aye, aye. As it stands, I think he could. I think he could move into our square and then take a full salvo. We can preemptively Standing by. fight that. And. Awaiting orders. I think what we could do is we move over here and use the forest to our advantage. Let's do that. Firing a full salvo. I've been sensor locked. Good. We got sensor locked, but we're okay for now. Uh, the left arm is a problem, so we keep the right arm in front. Good. Let's use a targeted shot. 70, 50... Let's try to explode half of his torso. Come on. Fantastic. That worked like a charm. Taking a critical hit. Good shot. He's unsteady. He knows that he has effed up. Light damage. Holding firm. Waiting for orders. He knows that he has effed up. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Ah, too bad. Cannot go all out. Yep. One more round. And this guy will have a problem. Oh boy. We almost lost our head. Shit, the Raven needs to be incredibly careful now. Move order confirmed. Wow, that was a harsh, harsh hit. Roger that. Luckily, we got some back armor. All right. Red Fort is taking it. some serious damage. Waiting for orders. Lost the medium laser, but that is okay. Ready for orders. It's not great, but it is okay. Good. We got 110 here, 44 there. Let's try to to kill his other torso. Okay. Scored a critical hit. It's a second explosion. He's unsteady. Uh, dang it, that hurt. Wow, Lily took another hit. Good to go. Good. Come on. 65. I think the one time... Oh, this is now the one time where we are overheating. Oh, wait a second. The guy does not have any more weapons. No. Nope. We're not overheating. That's a kick 
Oh boy, sensor lock. Confirm. Lifting off. Vulcan moves in. Light damage. Holding firm. Commander. Good. Let's be careful. Ah, we're going to reserve. There's Holding. no disadvantage. Enemy lost one turn right here. There you go. It's good. Using the Vulcan here as bait. Watch my heat. Aye, aye. Waiting for orders. Yes, Commander. All right, they got an assassin. Interesting. Redford is going to brace. I want the heat reduction. They're getting the angle on me. Almost lost the bag. The Vulcan is so Commander? shattered. It's not even funny. Got it. And a griffin. Holy shit, we're Damage is minor, Commander. at a disadvantage against that lance. Two griffins and they seem to be equipped Standing by. rather well. On the move. Hell yeah. Good. Let's... Use uh, the cover as an advantage. Assassin moves in, entrances. Are we going to survive Orders. one entire round against uh, them? Potentially not. So, Vulcan is just moving out. Can't risk him to be uh, to be seen. Reserving. Sensor lock might come. Got a there's the lock. sensor lock, this time against the blackbird, and there's one hit. Blackjack, not blackbird. Okay, we're good. So we got an assassin, another assassin, a griffin, and another griffin. The assassins yes, are LRMs, SRMs, medium lasers. Wow, that assassin here is loaded. Small, small, small. SRM. This guy here is a pain in the rear to deal with, with his uh, ranged and LRMs. And this is the lightest target, 320 armor. I think we're going to focus heavily Waiting for orders. on the 320 armor guy. On the other hand, the other assassin is kind of an, in the front. Is a bit more tanky. Awaiting orders. I do have an idea. Raven moves up. Active probe. I've got a sensor lock. And that sensor locks 
every single one of them. They are uh, they are lost for their evasion blips, and that means uh, the the assassin here is good to go. I think we're still taking the assassin in the front, to be honest. Copy that. Fully unloading. Come on. Not a lot of damage, unfortunately. Right, Commander. Good, this could be an Alpha Strike. Nicely unloading. All we got, come on. Fantastic. Structure is exposed. They do have jump jets. And this assassin here is just trying to reveal us. Oldest trick in the book. We're countering this oldest trick. Copy that. By bracing ourselves. Vindicator this time is revealed, that's fine. Commander? Vindicator has plenty of armor left. Moving up. Vigilance for less damage. And let's hit the assassin. Come on, I want to see a kill. Ooh, so close. Fantastic. The Vindicator tanks it. I would go for reserve, to be honest, because that assassin... All it can do is a bit of damage, and that's it. Ready for orders. Alright, the Vulcan is a problem for now. Good, we're there. carefully standing. Here we go. And dealing some damage is better than no damage. Nineteen hit points. Okay, LBX is still got one shot left. Um, yeah, let's attack. Good to go. All right, Vindicator moves up. Let's hope that we can deal with the guy. 19 hit points and we got plenty of weapons that could deal just as much damage, but maybe we're not hitting. So let's see. Um, so close. And risk the raven. We are okay where we currently are. Of 
could try to get rid of the assassin. Let's reserve. Okay, that's pretty moderate damage. Receiving you. Continue to move over here. That will still make us vulnerable against his attack. Problem is our blackjack is vulnerable from many, many different sides. Since our rear armor is still good, I think this is the best way to go. That's attacking the guy from the front. So let's move up here. We're open for an assassination from behind. I am keenly aware of uh, the fact that we got to deal with this assassin right now. Fantastic. Okay, it's closed. One down, three to go. And we're still outgunned and heavily injured, so... Alright, big armor is holding. Uh, that is the right arm and that's exactly what we're showing if we're positioning ourselves here Affirmative. Uh, well gotta deal with that next assassin here copy that stand still dummy Okay, some more damage on the blackjack. It's fine. Yes, Commander. Confirmed. And let's continue to hit the assassin, shall we? Yes. Confirmed. All right, one leg severely injured. Blackjack is still tanking. Bradford Bret needs to move back. Too much damage, just too aye much aye. damage. Okay, that should be fine. Cloaked, the assassin needs to be reduced in its initiative so that we're not getting another attack in the back. Affirmative. They've got a sensor lock on me. Who got sensor locked? Damn, the raven. Hmm. Okay, we got a griffin here Orders. who is a problem. For 
All right, Lily needs to tank and just be a more attractive target. All right, the assassin hopefully is going to take quite a bit of damage. That's a critical hit. Okay, that's good. I'm under heavy fire. Only the LRMs. Yes, Commander. Moving out. Good. Three medium lasers. Not a lot, but maybe enough to just kill the guy. Fantastic, Bradford. You are a great leader. I'm surprised that I would ever say that about Bradford, but he did quite well here. Let's get this Griffin. Try to hit it really, really well. Yes, Commander. All right, we got enough to get the guy down in initiative and that's exactly what we're going to do he's down to two initiative which means the other uh, one starts with the sensor lock that's okay got Tigan here who continues with his ranged AC2 treatment not great but Still, at least some damage. Bradford is sensor locked. Left arm is the one that is still has the most uh, armor, so we're going to put it Roger. in front. And we're slowly but surely chipping down Commander? their armor. Moving up in the hopes of the Vindicator triggering uh, some damage from the Gryphon would be a great target. Right, Commander. Okay, that worked well. That was a good hit. Structure exposed. Bradford un unfortunately takes a good. beating. Massive one. Standing by. Can't reduce his initiative again. Fantastic. This time he did not even act because he he kind of effed up the initiative order. I got you. Affirmative. All right. The other guy just sensor lock. That's good. That's good. Yes. I get the feeling for the first Commander. time that we might be able to actually beat the mission. Roger that. Confirm. Fighting close to the edge. Standing by. On my way. Good. Moving up. And we're continuing to dish out as much damage as we can with the little heat that we do have available. Roger. Engaging. Good, we can just go on reserve for now. Let him act. That's another wasted opportunity. We're moving up. Some more damage from the Vulcan. Orders. Good to go.
Raven moves up. We'll go. EPC is down. That Target's is good. Taking a critical hit. Commander. Commander. Moving to position. Moving very close because with his LRM tens, the closer we get, the worse his aiming will be. And I'd like to precision strike the guy right there. Here we go. Fantastic. Griffin is falling into pieces. Receiving you. Affirmative. Almost got it down. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. That. Good. Target eliminated. So much for his buddy. Got a lock on me. Waiting for orders. Locking in coordinates. Good. We're bracing. I want Waiting to res uh, to get some heat management back. We're completely overheated. Location confirmed. It's go time. Good. The enemy is guarding. Commander. And you can see just how much value we're getting out of the Raven, right? It is almost unfair. Copy that. Racing. Confirmed. Copy there. Good. Vulcan moves up. Removing yes, Commander. the enemy's blips. Good to go. Got it. And how about we're just reducing his initiative next turn? Fantastic. Locked on. But that guy is equally bad in doing anything against us. Holding for the right opportunity. He's just trying to move and sensor lock us. Commander. Let's move up with the Raven. Aye, aye. Waiting for orders. Ten four. Vulcan jumps up. We're almost out of AC two ammunition. Only 13 shots left, and it's really hard to get rid of AC2 ammunition. Like, that weapon comes with, I think, 25 ammunition at the beginning. Double time. Let's get this done, folks. He's trying to flee, but that really doesn't work out well for him. Commander? Standing by. Raven moves up, and we got quite a few extra shots against the guy. Orders. Tigan can ta also take some shots. Luckily for us, as long as we're standing in the zone, he cannot spot us out. Target acquired. Right, Commander. Good, fantastic. They've 
Yep, he just doesn't know, does know how to deal with it. Commander? Moving up with the Vindicator, and now it's time to finish him. Roger that. Full hit on the torso. Standing by. Jake is moving up as well. Destroying some of the heat sinks. Fantastic. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Giving him everything I've got. Good. His PPC is gone, which means he's left Reporting with only LRMs. Yep. Order acknowledged. And although he's nicely. Uh, taking some cover in the mountains. Oh, Eventually he now. will go down. Waiting for my opening. You know, we're going to do the same thing. Let him act first. I've been sensor locked. Yeah, he's just moving in for a sensor lock. Waiting for orders. Full fledged Alpha Strike. Oh boy. Critical hit, Commander. Griffin goes down. And if we could load this guy. Oh boy, I'm I'm just realizing we had like two heavy mechs in this mission. Confirmed. And we had twenty-eight loot. So maybe, just maybe, we will be able to actually loot these guys. Holy Hard shit. Out. What a slugfest of a mission. mission we actually successful. made it out alive. <laughs> Good. We got nine pirate uh, reputation. That is great. Two injured pilots. So it was definitely the last mission in the sector. 600 XP, which is fantastic. And oh boy. We got... One piece of an archer, one piece of a, a cataphract. I was hoping for a bit more. God damn it. Griffin, Griffin. What else? Tons of ammunition. I think we're going to go for medium lasers because it seems that we're always short on uh, them. Claimed salvage 12 million credits. GG. That might have been a breakthrough in the campaign, but we also got injured substantially so we will need to pay a good amount just to get the mix uh, started and i think like three schools for the time being might be as much as we can handle not sure but I, it almost felt like the upper edge maybe three and a half schools and uh, in a different biome, but with the mechs that we do have, that uh, was about it. Good. Let's take a look at, first of all, the mech warriors. Orders. Mech Redford gets some piloting. Lily gets some order. guts. Yes, Commander. Some more gunnery for Reaper, which is good. And Tygen finally gets some gunnery skill as well. Okay, we're eventually slowly but surely moving kind of to four in all skills. And then we can uh, get the special skills, which I was hoping for. 
Yeah. And boy, boy. We just gotta refit and repair everything. That in itself is seven days. Fantastic. And I think we had a medium laser in here. The setup was good. I like it. I think overall we're fine. We don't want to take LRMs yet. But if we were to run LRMs, an LRM 15 would be hilarious. We don't have any missile hardpoints on the blackjack and way too little tonnage. This here is the blackjack is a great mech before you can replace him. Having a trebuchet or a centurion, that would be fantastic. Let's just take a look. Good, so we could purchase another archer piece, but that will not give us an entire mech. If we were at two, I would consider it. We could purchase another piece for the crab. It's not the most loved mech ever, I might say. It's heavy, but and there are better uh, versions out there. And I think this here just means the quantity available. Yeah, it really doesn't mean that we already have it. But we do have one archer port. So if they had two archer ports, spending two mil to get an archer, I would probably even do that. Victor, fantastic mech. Having an assault mech that early in the game would change the entire kind of uh, dynamic here. Uh, the small laser, we're definitely going to buy that. Not even a question. Uh, the small laser here, we're also going to buy that. Again, not a question. Com system is fantastic. The resolve gain is just incredibly good. Com system triple plus. Mwah. Uh, it's almost too good to pass by. But I don't want to spend the funds. This is a fantastic item. But potentially for a little bit later. Heat bank. Changer is good as well. This system here has some fantastic lost tech heat bank double uh, heat bank double plus is really really good but it's something that i tend to build into like larger uh, mechs the maximum heat and the overheat threshold just solves a lot of your alpha striking problems uh, the exchanger on the other hand is equally useful if you do have a larger mech the minus 15 percent at uh, at the later stages in the game will make a huge, huge difference. Just because I will hate myself if I'm not doing it. New equipment available. We're actually buying the exchanger and the heat bank. New equipment available. I can't afford that. Uh, com system although it's so good it is just so good are we going for it 1.5 mil left over before i purchase it let's first of all equip all of the max and see how much money we uh, will have left over afterwards okay nine days right i'll get it in the skip good the vindicator did Fairly well, I would say. Three days just to re, uh, repair it. Oh, let's just double check real quick. From a heat efficiency standpoint, I think 
the mech did well. Yeah, I think we can just repair it. For now, it's fine. Raven. Two days. Uh, let's wait with the Raven just for one more second. Oh, well, the Vulcan. Yeah. Okay. Let's just take a good look. Oh, this guy is going to be expensive. And potentially takes a long time. Eight days just to repair it. I am wondering, is it worth trying to equip him with all of these nice toys? Or are we going to just let it be and let the Vulcan be the Vulcan? I think we're just going to let it be. It had an armor advantage, but I never really built up the armor. And to be honest, uh, the fire starter here had more armor to begin with. Let's just look at the fire starter and see what we can do with it. I think it is more fitting to our playstyle at the moment. Flamer uh, needs to go. And we still have more weapon slots. We could go for some more M MGs. I think the system is having machine guns. No, it's not featuring them. Okay. Well, we could go for at least one or two more additional machine guns. If we just take them off of the Vulcan and put the Vulcan into the uh, vault. And then just put lasers on the rest of uh, it. Alternatively, what we can do is, let me just check this one. That's a lot of heat. That's a lot of heat. We're eventually going to overheat. Let's just see if we do have two more machine guns somewhere. Raven doesn't have it, but we got a machine gun here. That's one and a flamer. Let me just see. Can we make this guy work? Okay, so eventually maximum armor. Maybe a few lesser jump jets. That one needs to go. And if we were just to, uh, using our lasers. Then we'd be netting 105. Yeah. That's not enough. It's it's really not justifying it. So what we're going to do here is Vulcan. Let's take all of this out. And we can theoretically later re uh, repair it. Shouldn't be too hard. Good. Now. Back to what I was originally trying to do is we're trying to just get more machine guns loaded.
machine gun ammunition into the legs. And let's try for some better lasers right there and there. And one more laser there. Firepower almost at the medium mag level. Got some nasty, nasty uh, armor for small mag. And although we're like rocking three MGs, I would tendentially even go for four. We should be fine. There's even more room for lasers in the center torso. The fire star is just a monster. Gotta give it to the guy. It is just a monster. One less jump jet. With four, we're still going to be plentiful, uh, plentifully equipped. And we're looking at solid 160 damage. So all we need to do is get behind uh, the enemy and hit uh, them. 12 days, 20,000. That's a nice upgrade. And finally, let's refit the Raven here. Checking the store. And the one thing that I would change is we are going to get oh nice tts3 fantastic but too expensive for us i would like to get this communication system triple plus and we're putting it into the raven i know right crazy Doesn't cost, it doesn't cost a lot, like no uh, specific, um, no specific uh, tonnage. It's just add on for resolve every single round and that'll help us so much. So this guy will produce resolve even if we're, uh, even if, uh, even if it's not participating in the fight. And whilst we're at it, actually considering taking a smaller SRM just to get more armor. Firepower is okay with a hundred, but the armor is so low. Yeah, let's downgrade to an SRM too and maximize the armor. Good. Look, that way... It might not look as uh, if it would be much, but it actually is a lot of extra um, armor. We're downgrading our Alpha Strike potential, fair enough. But at the same time, we're upgrading our sustained damage quite a bit. And by thinking about it, I'll even go one step further. Let's go for even more uh, firepower in one arm. That's 90 firepower if we're getting somewhat close. But might as well put the small lasers there. That way, if we lose the arm, it's not completely gone, gone. Heat efficiency is still okay. So 
So that firepower is 110. Sustainable firepower. We got a good heat management. Yes, we don't have um, as much range as before. Fair enough. But the only time that the Raven should regularly fight is when it is in close combat. And with three small lasers, it should be more than capable of defending itself. So that's a, that's a brawlerish setup and it can help to, to, de uh, to deal damage. It could, for instance, move up kind of uh, next to an enemy that is lying on the ground and still dishing out damage. So I'm happy with how that build turned out. I'll get it in the schedule. We got 31 days until everything is done done, which means let's set course for something that is 31 days away 29 here 33 here what do we have medium gravity i want pirate activity so that's good Thirty-three days down here. That's not bad. One point five difficulty. Which other factions have we often been working with? I think we've uh, worked with the Free World League quite a bit. So this year might be a good planet. Oh boy, boy. Pens to travel there. Yeah, I think we're this one here will make sense. Got two factions that we're working with in there. one over here yeah nope too far away 50 days no nope. that's another 50 day move no we're going to take 200,000 uh, and we're traveling there and unfortunately this is going to deplete all of our funds and see that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get from 3.5 million just down. We gotta make sure that uh, we're not running out of cash, so... I think we're just going to kind of use the normal lifestyle and not the exquisite lifestyle for now. Those upgrades you have. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Fantastic. Good. So we're for once are using normal uh, lifestyle. I already mentioned extravagant is nice to get all of the morale up and morale again helps with the fights. Um but that's 500,000 and money's tight at the moment. I want to make sure that we can live up to all of our commitments and still do the ship upgrades. Repair and refit. Oh wow, that costs 550,000, nope. Wow, most of them are pretty damn, expen uh, pretty damn expensive. Might as well want to go for a trainings module. Doesn't take long to build that. We certainly can't afford the Mac Bay yet. And I really don't want to spend too much money. 
Most of the stuff is too expensive. You know, this is something that we could do. It's a long upgrade. But I think it is the preparation. Yeah, structural reinforcements preparation for that in high power conduits is the highest upgrade here. Okay, cool. Good. Let's do this. Roger that, Commander. Still wanted to upgrade the um, the travel system as much as possible. We're almost completely out of cash. Yeah, the game is warning us, correctly so. You can see we're traveling to Cygnus. We will be there in 23 days and then the financial report is due relatively short afterwards. So we gotta uh, be successful and make some money whilst we're there. Yeah, but the cockpit system, I still think, although it was incredibly expensive, it'll pay dividends during the fights. Four resolve is the equivalent of a lot of extra morale. Got some more tech points for the next 14 days, so that'll speed up the process for working on all of the repairs. As you can see, the Raven is done even before we are traveling uh, into the system. So we're not losing any time. That's good. More tech points means that you can faster repair and make changes to the mix. And yeah, all of these jumps, all of these jumps are keeping us really low. It's good that we've uh, just used the minim minimum expenses. So we, we will make the monthly payment, but we got to be successful in our next missions. Very long movement. That work order you submitted is complete. As you can see, all of the mechs have now been upgraded. Let's just refit and get this one ready as well. We really need the Panther, potentially. Well, it's not great, but it will just so be enough for us to uh, work it out. We still got enough to pay the bills. And the reason why I'm doing it is just in case one of our mechs is being injured. In the next mission, I just want to make sure that we do have a fallback. We've arrived at our destination, Commander. Okay, fantastic. We certainly can't afford anything from from the uh, store, but it's never a bad idea to just take a little look. Yep, most of the stuff in the store looks good. No Star League equipment, so I'm not going to be tempted to purchase anything. Now the more important part, what kind of missions do we have? By the way, we can still like sell some of the stuff that we do have, so we're not completely and utterly broke. There are a few mech, uh, mechs that we do have left over. So, I 
fantastic. We got quite a few missions and most of them in the two school range, which is what we're, uh, what we're definitely capable of doing. Uh, let's just take a look. Like we got an operation here, an escort mission for a million. That is fantastic. And it's not hurting our relationship with the pirates. 500,000, just an assassination. Another million here for test drive, just a straight up battle. Unfortunately hurts the pirates. Hmm. I don't like that. That one we're not going to do, the raiding party. But yeah, we, we got options. Like 16 scavenging here. Well, it's going to be good. So the suggestion is potentially going to be first of all, earn some money and then eventually earn some salvage. We got one, two fantastic salvage missions. This one here is just well paid and well salvaged as well. Escort mission is a bit difficult though. But yeah, imagine doing that and we're almost back to one and a half million. That's not bad. Okay, so cool. We uh, we do have options. It was definitely the right idea to jump to here. Commander. No experience left. And that kind of brings us to the end of today's episode. A long one. Thanks for sticking with me. Time to uh, say goodbye for today. If you enjoy the content of uh, Battletech and the game itself, then leave a comment down below and feel free to answer the question what your favorite medium mech is going to look like and maybe also comment on just how close the three star mission was, uh, three score mission was. That was fantastic. I really like how it played out. Anyways, take care and have a good one. Bye bye, guys.